So last night we talked to a lawyer who represented January 6th defendant Jacob Chansley, the so-called QAnon shaman. And the lawyer told us that the government, the prosecutors in this case, in violation of the Constitution, hid exculpatory evidence from him and the defense in order to send Jacob Chansley to prison for four years, where he is tonight. Now we showed you that evidence this week. It's surveillance footage that shows federal officers leading Jacob Chansley around the Capitol like tour guides. At one point, they even opened the door of the hollowed Senate chamber for him and usher him in. So the tape proves conclusively that Jacob Chansley, whose every action inside the building was videotaped, committed no felony. And the government hid that fact. And because they did, the media were allowed to paint Jacob Chansley as a dangerous terrorist who deserved to be killed. So that is all a bit of a knowing dishonesty. He is utterly lying to his audience. But you don't have to take my word for it. You can take a judge's word for it, who had to talk about that show that Tucker Carlson did. Because Jacob Chansley, the so-called QAnon shaman, tried to use that broadcast to argue that his guilty plea should be vacated. Basically, it's like new evidence, I suppose. Well, the judge is not buying that. Um, and I want to read a little bit of what US District Court Judge Royce Lambert had to say about this. These videos are decidedly not exculpatory, the videos shown on Tucker Carlson's show, especially when viewed in context with the miles and miles of footage. Such footage, conveniently omitted by the March 6th uh, program, shows nearly all of Mr. Chansley's actions that day, including carrying a six foot long pole armed with a spearhead, unlawfully entering the Capitol through a broken door, disobeying orders from law enforcement on more than a half dozen occasions, entering the Senate chamber, climbing onto the Senate dais, sitting in the, the vice president's chair and leaving a threatening message for the vice president. Um, so saying you cannot simply use the fact that Tucker Carlson decided to take from hours of footage the few seconds that don't show you committing a crime and argue that that means that you did not commit a crime when the video evidence of you committing the crimes is also available, he just chose not to use it. So for uh, Jacob Chansley, no luck. But the judge specifically goes after Mr. Carlson saying, Finally, the court would not be remiss if it did not address the ill-advised television program. Not only was Mr. Carlson's broadcast replete with misstatements and misrepresentations regarding the events of January 6th, too numerous to count, Mr. Carlson explicitly questioned the integrity of this court, not to mention the legitimacy of the entire US criminal justice system with inflammatory characterizations of cherry picked videos stripped of their proper context. In so doing, he called on his followers to quote, reject the evidence of their eyes and ears, language resembling the destructive misguided rhetoric that fueled the events of January 6th in the first place. That is obviously the entire point of what Tucker Carlson was doing. Nobody found what he was doing to be persuasive that didn't have a deep seated need to pretend that no crimes had been committed. It was an identity based position, not a position reached based on an honest assessment of the evidence. Brett, what do you think? The video that we watched of Tucker Carlson is the equivalent of one of those videos you see online that's like, here is every conversation in Lord of the Rings between two women. And then they, to prove the point that it's a movie just for dudes, it just is the one line where it's like, mommy, will we be okay? Yes, darling. <laughs> and then that's it. Mm -hmm. he, they took miles and miles of footage, as the judge says, and just edited it selectively to make the point Tucker is making, not because he cares about justice, not because he cares about fairness, not because he cares about America. Quite the opposite, actually. He only cares about himself and catering yeah. to, comma, filleting his entire audience for every bit of insecurity that they have. That is an abusive relationship. He scares them. He makes them feel right about everything. He makes them feel good and terrible at the same time so that they will flock to him en masse. It is horrible and I'm glad that the, ju that the judge called him out explicitly. The sad part is a lot of them are gonna watch them and be like, oh, judges are fake news. Yeah, 100%, I mean, that's, that's what this whole crusade is designed to do. Judges are fake news, experts are fake news, academics are fake news, doctors are fake news. It's all fake news, unless you like it, in which case it's awesome and true. Yeah, it's totally see through, it is, it is deeply condescending towards his audience that he would think that that would work on them. And it is deeply distressing that it worked on them.
For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.